Woo! What's going on, guys? Norm's Forum coming at you guys today with another video. Today's video, we're going to be talking about some draft guys again. Uh, one in particular, obviously. Uh, my draft analysis for tight end Theo Johnson, the Canadian kid from my hometown. Look it up. Um, Penn State Nittany Lions, that's where he went to for four years. This kid's six foot six, 260 pounds, 23 years old. Uh, Go, moving up the draft charts a little bit, man. You see this guy at the combine. He kind of killed it at a 4.5740 at 260. That's pretty impressive. Jumping through the roof. I don't think the only thing he did, in, did not uh, uh, participate in was the bench. Um, don't know why he didn't do the bench. I uh, don't know if he has maybe some shoulder problems going on. Maybe, you know, he's got those long arms. You know, it is harder for bigger guys. Me being a bigger guy myself, um, when you got those long arms and, and, and you're looking to press. Um, it just it seems to be it seems to take a little bit more oomph if if you kind of know what I'm drifting at. Um, you know the shorter guys with the shorter statures, the the shorter arms they can press out maybe a little bit more. But I'm sure this guy can lift. He's six six two sixty. I'm sure the gym is no uh, a stranger to him. But they, who knows why he he skipped that part of the combine? But four years service at Penn State, Big Ten. Um, Penn State's always had always had pretty solid solid uh, 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 um, tight ends there and uh, he's kind of been tight end two tight end three for most of his collegiate c career at Penn State um, as a Nittany Lion and that's not a bad thing whatsoever playing in the Big Ten you know there's, there's been some good tight end products that have come um, through the college rankings into the NFL but four years at Penn State 77 catches 938 yards 12.2 yards per catch and 12 touchdowns, and uh, especially last year, you know, if you kind of look at his numbers, if you look at his numbers, he kind of impressed or um, improved uh, through those four years, you know, upticking every single year, especially in the touchdown department. He had seven alone last year, four the year before, I believe it was. You know, first couple of years, it took him a little bit more to get involved, but he did as the, as the years went around, along. But, you know, strengths and the positives. We got strengths, positives, weakness, negatives. We'll talk about the strengths and the positives first. He's a humongous prospect. Just get that out of the way. I've said that a couple times already. He's, just, he's a big, he's got a giant wingspan. Um, a former wide receiver prospect as well, too. So he's got that wide receiver mentality. His wide receiver does come out in his route running, boxing defenders out. You, you see that in the game film. Um, he, can really, he can really bully some defenders at times. Uh, he'll get dirty, and he is he's more than a willing blocker. He's actually a really good blocker. Kind of have to be. You know, especially in the Big Ten as well too. It's a lot of running going on, a lot of running going on at Penn State. Not, not gonna, not gonna fluffy on that. Not gonna lie to you on that whatsoever. But um, you have to be a pretty good blocker, good blocking tight end at Penn State. You know, to to stick around, and he did that very well. So he gets dirty, and he's a more than willing blocker, and he, and he can really set the edge too. He'll seal the edge, especially on smaller defenders. He'll get those guys, and, 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 and he'll lock up a smaller linebacker, smaller defensive end, even bigger guys, too. Um, and uh, um, his run blocking is very good. Um, he's got that long speed. He, you know, he has a long speed. Uh, it is very evident going down the seams. Um, he can really stretch the field if he wants to. can track the ball over his shoulder. He's got that wide receiver dog in him, so he does that very well. He's got really good leg drive. Yards after the catch were pretty impressive. Um, he doesn't go down after contact right away. He will try to get yards after contact with that yak. Um, a lot of good strengths and positives for this guy, but with those come those weaknesses and those negatives. Now, I think he needs to work on his flexibility. Um, he, 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 he's a bit stiff at times. You know, he's, he needs to work on that. Uh, stays too upright on his brakes. Uh, kind of gives away sometimes his route. Uh, whatever he's doing, going left or right, or even just going straight, he needs to work on that a little bit. And he pushes off a bit too much at times. Watching some of his film, you see a lot of pushes. You see a lot. You, you see a lot of push-offs um, in his game. Doesn't get called as much in the collegiate uh, 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 circuit, but it will in the NFL more. Um, so, and that's everything that that I just said. That's all coachable. That's all coachable. He can he can learn from the best. All depends where he lands. Now he'll get caught in space or from behind a lot. I think he said he's got good long speed. You know, takes him a bit to get going though. Uh, so he does get caught up in space. He does get caught from behind, and uh, and and the linebackers can kind of run with him a little bit more. 
Um, it's very good high football IQ, but wasn't asked to do a whole hell of a lot at Penn State. Not saying he's a bad player. That's not that's not a diss on him, but he was behind some good tight ends, like I said. And um, can, will he be able to handle an NFL workload? That would be the question. I think he will. I think he will, but he was the backups to the backup pretty much his whole collegiate career. But he improved every single year. And he's just, he's really good. I think the ceiling is very high for Theo Johnson. Um, now, when you talk about his overview, and you talk about the final analysis on this kid, I think he's a little bit of a project still. And people get scared at that word, project. Um, I understand. I understand the, the, the fear of the word project, raw. You know, I think he's got all those above. I think, he's a, I think he's a project. I think he's a bit raw. It's just my opinion on the kid. But his ceiling is extremely high. I think it's really high. Right away, I think the guy can be a red zone target, being six foot six, 260 pounds. He can bully guys in, you know, uh, when they get into the red zone, you know, move the chains a little bit, score a couple touchdowns. You know, he's, he's going to have to play some special teams, which he did at Penn State. You know, you're going to have to do that if, if you're tight end two and tight end three. So he did a lot of that at Penn State. I can see him doing that in the NFL right away. And then his blocking ability is, 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 very, is very good. It's polished. You know, some things obviously need to be refined in his, in his blocking game, in his receiving game, in his total game overall. But everything, all, all those need to be in the green. The, the red zone target, the special teams, the, the blocking ability. He, he needs to be in the green. He needs to be noticed right away. Now, where is he going to land? Like, 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 where is he going to land? What round? What team? I don't really know what team. I've heard some rumblings from some people about who's looking at this guy. I don't want to. I don't want to really say where I think he's going to land. But there's there are some pretty significant teams looking at him. Apparently, from what I was told, uh, uh, from what I was told, and um, it's going to be interesting to see where he lands. Now, you know, he's. If he lands and say like you know um, he lands in the Kansas City, he lands in an LA Rams team, he lands in somewhere like uh, a Cincinnati Bengals. Those are some teams that could be possibly be looking at him. Um, that's a good situation for him to be in. Um, I really would like to see him landing in a team that has a really good quarterback and is playing for the next few years. You know, LA. Who knows what's going on with Stafford? But LA's but Stafford is here. It'd be really nice. You know, Kansas City, obviously, Cincinnati, obviously. Uh, there's some teams that I would really like to see. I, I, I would, I would, I, I'm not even going to lie to you right now. I would love to see him land in Detroit. I, like, I really would. And, um, it, you know, uh, he, he would have to be fighting, obviously, with, with Brock Wright. Uh, so, so that would be a really good battle right off the jump there. But I think the sky is kind of the limit. I think his ceiling is a lot more than Brock Wright. Not that Brock Wright has done very well for us. You know, we we brought him back on that on that four million dollar per uh, a per year deal for three years. Contract's really nice on that, by the way. It's not just four million per year, you know, but the contract works out really nice for the Lions. Um, I don't think the Lions will will be will be drafting this kid. I don't see it, but I wouldn't be upset. Now, where he goes in, in this draft. Is a is a whole other is a whole other talk, um, you know. His combine might, might have pushed him up a little bit. His combine was pretty good. It was just pretty dominating actually, uh, for the most part. And uh, he was projected. This guy's been. I've seen kind of all over the board. I've seen fifth round, fourth round. I've seen since the combine, second and third rounds. I'm gonna kind of keep it. I'm gonna kind of keep it safe. I'm gonna say he's a third round guy. He's a, he's, a, he's a mid to third to late third round pick. And, uh, you know, that's just my opinion on the guy. You know, um, I think if the, you know, if the Detroit Lions were to take someone like him and if they were to take him into third round, take a little bit of a project, I think some fans would be upset about it. Um, you know, because I think we need impact players right away on defense. I think that's yeah. our key. Yeah. That's our key goal is to go get some defensive players. But... Holmes has made it clear. Holmes has showed us in the past that he won't reach for a defender just because they need one. If, if they got if they got a guy BPA on the board, and if it's a tight end, if it's a running back, he'll take those guys over over a corner or or over an edge. 
that's just that's just what he's done. That's what he said. That's what he's doing. He's he doesn't really beat her on the bush about it. But that's where I kind of think this kid's gonna go. Mid to late third could possibly go in the fourth. He could even go higher. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna guess mid third, late third. And uh, I just hope he goes to a really good team. I hope he goes to a good team and can develop because he's a bit of a project right off the jump. And that's okay. Canadian born, baby. Canadian born, playing in the Big Ten, playing in America. Love it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick little uh, draft analysis on Theo Johnson. I think this, I think the ceiling's very high in this kid. And uh, I just love the measurables and uh, the projections of this kid could be could be higher than a lot are are are, are uh, uh, believed. So um, um, I think he, he he's a good prospect coming into the NFL for um, any type of team that does draft him. But I want to see him go to a really nice team. It'd be really nice to see him get under the wings of a good quarterback and another really good tight end who's kind of not really on his way out, but just you know kind of grooming other like other tight ends you know to eventually take over that tight end one spot. So that's it, guys. Theo Johnson, Canadian born. Playing in the Big Ten, Penn State Nittany Lions. I hope you guys liked the, the quick review. It was 11 minutes and change. So I appreciate it, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the right. Don't forget to hit the notification bell up top. Don't forget to like, comment, share these videos. Making all kinds of friends, by the way, on my Orms Forums page um, on Facebook. Go check it out, man. Go check it out. Brett Hedges, this one's for you because you asked. Um, I put out a little I put out a little message. Uh, uh, um for my followers, i.e. subscribers, um, who they wanted me to take a look at. And my boy, Brad Hedges, who I know from, who I know personally, uh, asked me to do a little bit on Theo Johnson. A couple Canadian kids talking about a Canadian guy. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, go Lions. Detroit for everybody. Let's go. Draft is next week. Kaboom. Ha, ha, ha.